everyone, it's Holly, the Twister Sister, and it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday! Okay, so this Tutorial Tuesday is brought to you by a very special little tiny person on YouTube who had a very simple request for me that I just couldn't say no to. Hi Holly, uh, my name is Will. And I got my daughter here. We're really big fans of your YouTube channel. And um, my daughter has something she wanted to, to tell you. Go ahead. Tell me what your name is. Phoebe. And then what do you want to ask Holly? Um, please make me a man. Okay, so that was adorable and I just could not say no. So this week's video is going to be a mouse. And if you haven't noticed by this fancy background yet, this is kind of a Valentine's themed video and this is my Valentine's present to that adorable little girl. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy this mouse. So you're going to need two gray 260 balloons and one pink 260 or you can use a 160 for the pink. It looks good with a 160 as well. Okay, I'm going to start off with both of my gray balloons and I have these each blown up almost the same amount, like a five or six, inch, maybe four or five inch tail there at the bottom. And to get started, I'm actually just going to tie both these balloons together. Okay. Now that we've got them together, we're going to start right with the head. And since this is a mouse, we want to keep all the little features small. So I'm just going to do two small round bubbles. And we're going to twist. Oops. And we're going to twist both of our round bubbles together for the nose. And continuing on with the same balloon, I'm going to do a small loop. That's one cheek. And we're gonna do one more loop for the other cheek. There we go, so you should have something like that. Now, take the balloon that you haven't used yet, and it's gonna come up. We're gonna do maybe a one and a half, two inch bubble, pretty short. And then we're gonna make the mouse ears. Uh, I'm gonna do it with a pinch twist and a loop. If you don't like pinch twist, you can just do it with the loop if you're just learning. Um, but if you're going to do it like me, go ahead and make your balloon nice and soft. And you're going to do a loop about this big. Twist that. And then do a small pinch twist. And I'm going to place this pinch twist so it's wedged inside of the loop. And that'll make it look like a nice little mouse ear. So you got the pinch twist right in the middle there. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. We need another ear. So I'm going to do another loop. And we're gonna do another pinch twist. And then you're gonna wedge that pinch twist, twist right in the middle of this loop. So something like this. And now this balloon is going to come down, we're going to twist it right in here. So it's going to be the same length as that very first bubble and twist these two together. So you should kind of have something like this and it already sort of looks like a mouse which is pretty cool. We're going to do a couple more things here. So you should have a balloon sticking out of the front or the back of the face. We're going to take this balloon up and over in between the ears. So you want it to be nice and soft for this. So it gives it a nice shape. And then kind of pull your ears apart a little bit and just take your balloon up, over, through, and we're gonna tie, twist it down into the bottom of this head here. Okay, so this is what you should have at this point. So we've got our little mouse head. Everything's gray and that's just fine. 
So we've got our rest of our balloons coming out here at the bottom of the head. I'm just going to do a really simple three bubble body. So take your balloons and twist them together, maybe about like right there. And then take your longer balloon and it's going to go back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the shorter balloon and I'm going to twist this. I'm just going to make a small little bubble here at the end. And I'm going to twist this into the head. And you could pop this little bubble here and um, deflate it and just wrap it around. But I'm just going to leave it right here in the back because it does help to stabilize things. You don't need it for this design, but it can't hurt. So I'm going to be left with this. So it's got a three bubble body and a long mouse tail. And the reason why I chose to keep this balloon instead of bringing this one up top is because I'm going to use this for his tail because mice have kind of long tails. So <laughs> we'll just save that for later. And now let's work on his arms and hands and feet and legs. <laughs> so go ahead and get your pink balloon. Now this works with 260s or 160s. It's a little bit cuter with the 160s because he's got the small little arms and legs. So get your 260, your pink 260, and we're going to blow it up about five or six pumps with a hand pump. And I'm just going to make real small, small, tiny little hands. I'll just do one hand at first. So to do that, I'm just going to make three small bubbles and twist the second two together. And if you'd like, you can take this nozzle and hide it by making sort of like a, a wannabe pinch twist. <laughs> All right, and then I like to squeeze the balloon to make it a little bit soft. Now take your mouse and this bubble that's in front for his belly. We're going to pull it open a little bit and you're gonna take your pink balloon and we're gonna thread it right through there. And then squeeze your balloon. You can even twist it, your pink balloon. Twist it a little bit just so it has a nice shape so his arms are, you know, sticking out a little bit. So that's one arm and we're going to do everything the same, just coming out here on the other side. So another little pink bubble for the other arm. And then three small bubbles for the hand, well two small bubbles for the hand. Twist those together. And we're going to do a pinch twist here. So this is your third small bubble, but we're going to pinch twist it. Okay, so it matches the hand on the other side. Now since this is a pinch twist, we can go ahead and break the balloon and let your mouse kind of go down to the side for a second. And if you have enough balloon, we can use this bit for the feet so you don't have to grab another balloon. Now if you had to use your scissors or you're not quite good with the whole ripping and tearing balloon thing, <laughs> then you might have to use two pink balloons for this design. But I'm just going to try to use this scrap to make the legs and feet. So I'm going to tie that off. Okay, grab my mouse. And since we just ripped the balloon off here, all right here, I'm just going to twist that and around the hand a good number of times just so it doesn't come undone. You don't need to tie a knot in it unless you really want to, but I won't be playing with this too much, so it should be fine. And now we're going to do the same thing we did for the hands for the feet. So just small little bubbles. There we go. And we're going to thread this through the same gray tummy bubble. And you want the legs to kind of be going a little bit down like that. And then we're going to use the rest of this to make the other foot. And I'm just going to have barely enough balloon. Ooh, he's going to have a really big toe. <laughs> He 
He's got foot cancer, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, then with the tail, what you can do is I want my tail to be a little bit shorter. I don't want it to be this long. So I'm gonna twist it off maybe about here. Get rid of the rest of that. And then what you can do is, well, I like to give it a little bit of a curl. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my hand and squeeze it a little bit to give it a little bit of shape. And then I'm just gonna wedge it up in between these two gray balloons on its back. So he's got a nice little tail sticking out the back like that. Pretty cute, huh? Yeah? Okay. Now, for the last part of this mouse, all you need to do is grab yourself a little pink scrap for the nose, and that's it. So I've got a little scrap here that I just blew one little bubble in and twisted the ends together to make like a, a little pinch twist nose. And I'm going to attach this to the nose by taking the nozzle underneath the two nose bubbles, like that. And then I'm just going to take it straight back and wrap it around a cheek or something like that. Just to get it stuck right on there. So how cute is this little mouse? I think it's pretty cute, personally but I came up with it, so might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm gonna get everything arranged here. All right, just ignore his extremely large toe here. <laughs> Other than that, this is a really cute mouse. So I draw the eyes on on these two side bubbles. Let me show you that. All right, so there's the mouse all finished and ready to go let me know what you guys think if you like this little mouse if you're able to make it i would love to see pictures or you can even make videos and send those to me just post on my facebook page which i have the link down below for you and i wanted to show you guys this mouse is really cool but it looks even cuter if you have some extra time to do different colors for the eyes and the insides of the ears so i've got another one here that i did with uh, white and pink for the eyes and for the ears so you can just see how it looks a little bit different uh, when you use some different colors in it but for a quick balloon at a party or a restaurant or something like that three balloons for a mouse is not bad and he's really cute so uh, your customers are definitely gonna like this so I don't get asked for mouses too often um, but if you do now you'll have one Okay, so last week's video got great responses from you guys. Thank you so much for all of your input and pictures. I even got to see some of y'all's creations. So here's a couple of those awesome pictures. Thank you guys so much for sharing those with me. I love seeing what you all come up with. And don't forget about my new Patreon page. It's still up. I've got that link down below also. If you guys enjoy these videos, if you're benefiting from them, and you want to say thank you or support me in any way, just head on over there. It's like leaving a tip, and I've just been blown away uh, that I've already got a few supporters. So thank you so much for those of you that have already jumped on board. It means the world to me. And if you like this video and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you can get notified every time I put out new videos. We've got new balloon tutorials every single Tuesday right here on my channel, so you don't wanna miss that. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, guys. Y'all are the best, and I am looking forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye.